All right. You don't need to update it now. Let us begin. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Powerless, brought to you by AED&D, and more specifically, Donnie Danger, the wonderful DM of this crazy, crazy story. Hello. I'm Bork17, playing Chadwick Sparkstorm, and we have the man bear. That's me. That way. Uh, playing Frequency. Um, I remember that Sparkstorm is going to zonk out this session um at least for part of it because i think he's running on like 28 hours with no sleep um and it's his time to take a nap so while i do that let's have the dm read you the recap all right so last time on powerless our heroes deliver the stash of batteries to mortar the bar owner who also operates a smuggling operation she agrees to provide them VIP transport, but urges them to be ready by tomorrow, as business has been stalling, and other clients have been on a waiting list for some time. Our heroes agree to be back by next morning, but before leaving, they return to Harry to make an arrangement with him. They entrust Harry with the warehouse containing the charger, and allow him to set it up as a secondary hub. He agrees eagerly, as the energy crisis in Duet City has only gotten worse after the massive robot, Pharaoh Prime, drained a large amount of the city's remaining power during its reactivation. Afterwards, our heroes returned to the caravan to find that they were set to leave upon our heroes' arrival. Ready to go? Now they trek to the cap now the trek to the capital finally begins. And here we are. Wait, did I just blank out or did you mention the fact that we brought what's his face to back to the place? mentioned it in like two sentences okay okay <laughs> yeah I, you know I, I went over how uh, you guys gave the warehouse to harry as a charger in it he was pretty happy about that okay i i honestly was paying attention but i was also checking other stuff at the same time and some stuff got confused it's all good so have we officially left yet are we on our way or are we just about to leave you guys just showed up and the carriages were being packed. You guys purified some water uh, and we're getting ready to board. Um, you guys want to talk to any of the other people getting on board or do anything beforehand? Now's the time because everybody's ready to go. Does our map matter? It does. I was going to say we're sitting on the uh, grid map still. Oh. My bad. Here you guys go. Um. <laughs> one of those big robots is gone. Correct. We gave one to Harry. Oh, right. We're going to park. We I, want, I actually want to park the other one inside the building now. You did have one parked inside. Oh, the other one was parked in there. You took it out. I, I never specified, but I want one parked inside, and Harry has the other one. I know I left oh. one of them out initially, just so people don't come attacking. Well, upon uh, asking Mortar about this, uh, she's totally cool with you having a giant robot inside. You can think of a few uses for something like that anyways. In the meantime, you should maintain it if anything goes wrong with it. Um, Where am I'm, I? I'm, oh, ass there I am. I'm assuming we're coming back relatively quickly. Right? Coming back here? Yeah. No, we're going across the desert. Like, yeah. We're going to be there for like two months and then come back, right? Two months? and I mean, you guys have been doing things pretty quick. I'll be honest, things have not been as long as they feel to you. You've been in duet for maybe four or five days, at most. We've got the big tournament, the sports tournament that we have to go to. Because that's where we're going to find Gizmo Girl and the Radical Hunk. That's probably going to take at least a day. And then there's the whole... That'll probably take another day or two of talking to Gizmo Girl and organizing the rebellion and doing all that jazz. I'd say we got at least two weeks. 
Okay, so we're not gonna go there, be gone for two years, and then come back or something. Yeah, I mean, if what happened in Neptunia is any indication of how long it takes to overthrow an empire, <laughs> <laughs> maybe like a month is a fair estimate at most. Okay. In all fairness, we're special. <laughs> then I'm fine leaving that one here because if, if we're gonna be gone like long term, I would. Come up with a plan for her to ship the cross though. Does it also until you wind up like overthrowing it? Like I'm just saying, like this is your your plan and understanding of how things work right now. As far as you're aware, until things change, it's going to be very hard to come back here from the capital. It's been a very big deal. Anybody actually getting there? Getting to the capital, or getting away from the capital, getting to the capital, and you might surmise that it might be hard to leave as well. I mean, I'm sure it's not hard. You just piss off the king and they shoot you out of the cannon and be like, alright, don't come back. Possibly. <laughs> it might be that simple. But you don't know. You haven't been there. Alright, yeah. So I'm gonna be like, yeah. Um, just keep an eye on the thing. We'll probably be back a month or two. Um, we had me, you know, check up on our shop and everything. So, I'm I'm being confident, saying like, yeah, we're just gonna go in, come back. Like, we won't even need to to be a um wolf um smuggled next time. Okay. Uh. I, I, I forgot words. You, you're talking to Mortar like all cocky and stuff, and she's just like... Not cocky, confident. Confident. <laughs> she's just like uh, raising an eyebrow and she's like, well, good, because we don't operate that side of the desert. And she just kind of like shakes her head like in disbelief at how confident you are. Like, oh my god. Um, I just make sure that the robots here or the mechs here for when I come back. Don't worry about that. I'll take good care of it. Not just for you. It's been a vested interest. You've done a lot for us. It's good to maintain good connections. That's what I like to hear. All right. Uh, I suppose I should jump on, hop in the caravan now. Okay. As you guys are uh, running up to the caravan, uh, I know you have two passengers that look like this, they're like cloaked figures, but somebody uh, comes up on a motorbike who looks just like these guys. He's in a robe, and he rides up to Mortar, and uh, he says some things to her. And you can't really see what he's saying. This is all roleplay, I'm not moving pieces on the map. And uh, she looks a little bit concerned. And she walks up to Brick and uh, starts talking to him. And we notice this. You guys want to listen in, you can. Can we hear? I was going to say, can we hear them? Uh, not quite yet. They're not right next to you guys. Um, it, it, it's kind of hard to hide over here, isn't it? I was going to say, I'm literally like right here. Okay. How am I not right next to these guys? Well, like I said, this is role play. This, I'm not moving pieces on that. But anyways, oh. you're not far, and uh, well, this is this is our carriage, right? Yes. So I'm gonna be taking a walk around the carriage. I know Sparkstorm jumped in, but I'm gonna be casually walking around the carriage and keeping my ears open. And as you do, uh, you hear this ride might not be as smooth as we anticipated. Seems the Empire has been upping activity. What do you mean? The patrols. They're on high alert. We don't know why. Our runner, he couldn't get very far before uh, he had to turn back. They're, they're swarming the place. Well, we are on a timeline. We don't leave now. The gate will close. 
I know, I know. And then uh, she kind of just, uh, her hands are on her hips. She's looking around, looking perturbed. She notices uh, you listening. You see Mortar let out a sigh. Oh, I didn't say I was listening. I said I was walking around, keeping my ears open. I didn't stop to listen. All right. I just kept walking around the caravan. You know, oh, sure. I, I'm I'm checking things and poking stuff. And when I make my lap back around again, I'll keep my ears open. But I'm not stopping at any point. I'm kind of just walking in a circle. You know, she looks your way and, uh... She kind of just, uh... She she walks a little meekly towards you. Look. Hey. Hey, uh, might be a bit of a, a change of plans. Uh, I raise an eyebrow. Uh, what's that mean? Hopefully nothing. But you might need to get out of the carriage at some point. Caravan's still gonna happen. But the route might not be as secure as it has been. Just be ready for a bumpy ride. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Hold on, I gotta perk. I I kind of cockily, actually cocky, not confident, but cocky. So I'll be fine, and I, I flip my katana out of my sheath, and I kind of, like, start playing with it a little bit, and I, I channel my heat through the blade to change the laser to red, and I go, I don't think anything's going to fuck with me. Uh, she, uh, she almost, uh, exhales, looking a bit relieved. She's like, oh, good, uh, glad to hear it. I'm glad you're with us. <laughs> I mean, like, you guys fucking killed the entire camp of Ravagers. I uh, really don't know how to convey that properly. Um, uh, but she's like, uh... uh, uh but when she's saying that, I go, uh, we didn't just, you know, beat a camp. We also, and I kind of start listing off all the Ravagers we killed since we got here on each finger. And I go, oh, wait, yeah, there was that administrator we helped fuck up to. And the other one, I kind of made go crazy. I think we're on a pretty good roll. Upon hearing of that, she's just like, you might want to keep that on the DL when you actually get to the capital. I, I look at her and I wink and I go, I thought you were the DL. Starting to get it. Out there's a different picture, though. Something's got the Empire's feathers in a ruffle. Probably us. Wouldn't be so sure. You guys haven't been in the desert, not out there, not where they're looking. And I just shrug and I go, you, you know, this is the second kingdom we visited, and somehow they always get upset about us being here. You talking to me? Oh, I'm talking to the barkeep right now. Oh, okay. Uh, she's a bit taken back. That's a longer story than I'm prepared to hear. Uh, Caravan's got to be heading out soon. I just want to let you be uh, privy to what's going on out there. Okay. Uh, as 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 that, I finished my circuit, and then I uh, kind of hop on the front of the train, out uh, the front of the caravan, not in, like on the front of the car, like on the roof, and I just kind of like lean back. Okay. She uh, shouts to all the other passengers, stay in your ride, do not get out until Brick says it's okay. And they all kind of go into their carriages. And you stand atop of uh, Sparksarm. Are you uh, kind of taking a nap right now? I, I mean, I'm not going to fall asleep to the carriages moving, but... Alright. I, I wasn't necessarily in the caravan. I was get into it but uh, for what was going on yeah I, w I was essentially in the caravan but yeah okay. after it starts riding once you know it, once you start getting like a coasting speed yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take a nap okay the caravan starts heading out and it gets it goes on for like about an hour uh it goes through some loops and turns through some um uh canyons uh, it, it's almost maze-like at a certain point, um, the route that the caravan starts going through. And it feels like you guys would be, uh, 
spend a bit of time trying to figure out your way through uh, where it's going through yourselves, but eventually the caravan stops mid-ride. And frequency, since you're kind of like paying attention, you're up. You just see Brick, who was piloting the caravan. He was driving the main one, this one up here. He stops it, signals that the other one's stuck, and uh, he stands up top with you. And you almost see uh, him kind of like uh, put his hand to his forehead, kind of like he's concentrating. Okay. You hear kind of like a dull pain come from him. It's hard to hear. Uh, so you got sonar, huh? He smiles. You familiar with the tech? Pretty popular in my hometown. That's strange. It's very rare here. Well, I'm not from here, if you didn't notice. Oh, I've noticed. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to have to slow the ride soon. Patrols. Uh, I've heard about. They're coming up. Huh. I just never wanna, seen it like this. I, I just want to say that when uh the caravan stopped, I wanted to, I wanted to do the classic like, I kind of you know get a little startled like, I start looking around, and quickly like start to fake sleep, just so no one asked me to do anything. <laughs> uh. As far as you're aware, nobody's saying anything. Um, Brick does look to you, Frequency, and he just says, hopefully nothing needs to change. Just going to have to take it a little slow working our way through here. I'm still lounging on the front of my car, like, with my hands behind my head, just laying on the roof, like, yeah, you know, I run faster than you guys are driving, so I'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Okay. The caravan uh, starts going kind of slow. Beep. And bada bing, bada boom. TV remote. This would be the part where dynamic lighting would be kind of nice, but... It falls off a cliff. <laughs> it, not figure that out. Reveal areas. Reveal areas. Okay. Oh wait, would you ask? Oh yeah. Did you guys not figure that out? That it's, it, 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 it's behind a paywall. Yeah, it's behind a paywall. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, Makes funny. sense. Well, when it when it initially came out, it was free. A part of like a free. trial period. Oh, I, I'm assuming just to get the bugs out, and then mm -hmm. uh, once they started developing more, it, yeah, put behind a paywall. Okay. Okay. I guess the there's a bad guy right there. There's a bad guy right there. The there's caravan, a bad guy right there. The caravan stops. And you see a ship fly past right overhead. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, Frequency. I wasn't sure if I was seeing quite right. <laughs> you see uh, Brick look a little bit relieved. And uh, starts piloting back up, it back up again. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. All right. You see Brick get back on the top of the caravan just before getting very far. And just like, shit. And uh, you see a ping again. Ping? Yeah, he's got radar. Oh. He's just like, good, I can still see. They got sonar scramblers. I've never seen this before. And you see this behemoth of a ship fly overhead, too. That looks like a tube transport. And it flies past. The first one looked like a recon unit. That that one's definitely a transport unit. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, frequent uh sparks are sleeping. Yeah, I was just like, uh, I mean <laughs> you didn't say that. 
Uh, I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking so hard it just spilled. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, he picks it back up. Things start going again. Boom, boom, boom. Gets back up here. And smooth sailing for now. All right. All of a sudden, you're at the top of the ship with him, and you see something scurry across the ground. Something small with multiple legs, something metallic that glints in the sunlight. Brick is still piloting the coach. You can't tell if he saw it or not. No, because then they can hear it on. Do you say anything, Frequency? It all Sorry, went what? black. Yeah, I know it all went black. I had to reset the map. Um, something small glints in the light. Um, on the path that you guys are traveling, as you're riding across the top of the caravan, you see something glinting, something small scurrying across the desert, but it's reflecting the light. It seems. I, to I, can I uh, try something before I say anything? Yeah. I um. Uh, use my air control um, to kind of try to coagulate the air, make it cold. I, everything in here is machinery, so, so cold should really slow it down versus normal people. So I, I really focus hard since I got time to cool an air pocket about 20 feet in front of it so that I have time to really cool it down and try to, like, freeze the systems a little bit. Um, Please. I mean, since you've got time on your hands as assisting combat, I'll say you're able to do so, but what is it you're trying to achieve? I want to stop it in its place. Like, I want to cool its system so much. Like, I know everything in this world is run by electricity, and if you cool down electricity enough, it just shuts off. The battery dies. Oh, That's basically what I'm trying to do. Using it on the thing you see. I thought you were using it on the caravan. I was a bit... No, no, on the thing I see. All right. Um, it is it is kind of in the distance. It all, it's almost like a mirage. It's so far away. But how far can you attack? One, two. I don't really have a range for my hot cold. It's usually just where I can see by sight. Okay. Well, roll power check. Oh, excuse me. That felt delicious. I didn't know what that was until you said something, and... Okay. Okay. It stops and freezes in place. I haven't even rolled yet. Oh, I thought I thought yours was a 24. <laughs> That's yours. It says your name. Okay. My bad. I'm looking yeah, at dear. the lock. I got a 14. Um, You see it almost stop for a second, and... As the caravan's riding slowly closer... I, I'm going to continue if if I can. I want to continue to kind of channel my power into this pocket of air as long as I see this thing. And then while I'm doing that, I look, I go to Brick and I'm like, I, I got something. Closer, you realize you didn't slow it. You got its attention. It didn't stop moving. It moved. It turned around, turned sideways, and started moving in your direction. It's very hard to tell that because it's easier to see things moving side by side in the distance. Okay. Well, I, I take it. I go, hey, Brick, I uh, pissed something off. He says, he, he climbs the top of the caravan, stops it again. Oh. What is it? Oh, that I thing. Was... I point at the shiny thing. That's in the wrong area. He gets out and looks at it. What the hell is that? I don't know. But I pissed it off. Uh, hold on. You, you see, I, I said all I see is black now, and you're like, I reset the fog. You didn't tell me that you opened a different part of the fog. Oh, yeah, my. Yeah, I, I had to look myself to find I'm, it. I'm sitting here, and then I'm like, wait, it sounds like they're looking at something. And then I had to <laughs> zoom all the way out to like 30%. I'm like, oh, way across the map is, uh, is something. Uh, okay. We're good. My bad. Anyways, it's, it's scurrying closer, and uh, Brick kind of just jumps down. It scurries up to him, and he uh he kind of just grabs it in his hand. It, it's clawing around, trying to pinch his fingers and stuff, but it's not really breaking uh any of the metal on him. And he just crushes it in his hand. Whatever it is, it's not nice.
He, uh, he gets back on top of the caravan and tries to let out a ping again. Okay. And he he's like, okay, I see them. I'm going slow again. The thing with the red line bit. Oh, it's dead. What was it? <laughs> it's like a little metallic spider thing. Rick was pretty confused by it, but he killed it. Okay. It was trying to bite his fingers off when he picked it up and he crushed it. Oh. I must have missed that part. Yeah. That's what happened. Okay. Hey, more power to him. I I look at him and I go, so is that thing in danger or more? That one, not anymore. But I'm detecting a lot of stuff up ahead. You should probably ping it before we enter the the area and like try to get a better idea of how many things we're talking here. I just did, though I'm worried about more like that. My sonar doesn't pick, detect things that small. Well, my eyes seem to apparently catch it, so that's a plus. Yes. We're going to take it slow up ahead. Patrols are going crazy further in. Can I use your phone? Characters continue forward. As you guys get forward, there's a bit of an impasse. The caravans keep going. Yes, look at that. Look at that. I told you about that. Easy peasy. Something happens to one of the wheels in the caravan in the back. It seems to be shining his mirror or something. It's like a signal. Rick rolls the caravan back, goes back to check on uh, the rider. Does what? Yeah, uh, you're unless you choose to go with them, you're not gonna know what's what's being discussed. I choose to stay here. I'm I'm acting like the VIP tourist that I am, so I'm just gonna chill on the roof of my car and keep <laughs> my eyes peeled. Okay, he comes back to the front caravan, he's just like in amateurs, they didn't maintain their wheels before we they we headed out. I, I scoff and ah, losers. Well, gonna have to keep an eye behind. Don't want to leave a low lazy wheel behind. Anyways, keep going. As you guys are going ahead, uh, this transport uh starts falling behind a little bit. As you guys get this far ahead. Do I personally care about that transport anyway? Probably not. Then I don't care. All right. You guys keep going up this way. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, Brick detects another um, uh, passing uh, flyby and directs everybody into a nook in uh, a canyon over here. Okay. Signals to the uh, rear caravan to stay where it is. Because it's not with them right now, and it can't catch up at the moment. It flies overhead, and it doesn't seem to notice. But as Brick seems uh, ready to get the caravan running again, Says there's nothing ahead. We can keep going. Trolls are picking up behind. We can't stop here. All of a sudden, before you guys get very far, the vehicle turns around. Okay, hold on a second. I want to try something. I, I noticed that the vehicle is kind of circling us, right? It it seems you can't tell it's circling you, but it does turn around. Okay, now, question. How low is it fly? Stop moving things. How low is it flying? Like, is it flying really, really high? I'd say or is it, about, like, skirting the rocks? I'd say it's maybe, like, about five stories above ground. 
But I mean, like skirting these cliffs, is it like really oh, above them or? Yeah, it's hovering it right really, above the cliffs. Right above or like really above? Like, I guess if you were like 20 feet tall, you could reach it if you were standing on the cliff. So it's what trying to look like at, in between the cracks. What about like a 20 foot boulder that may or may not be there? That wouldn't hit it. It would, but well, what if I made it invisible? It might hit it. That's what I'm thinking. Like, if there's any boulders that I see that are, like, at just the right height to where if the plane doesn't see it, it might clip a wing, I want to make it invisible. All right. You can see that this thing is getting ready to... Let me just flip that horizontal. Shoot at the lazy wagon coming up the rear. I swear that car wasn't parked there. I don't know where it came from. I just... I, uh, I I didn't hit it. It hit me. Anyways. Uh, it's just circling back. It's right here. And I'll, I'll say that there is a cliff here with maybe a rock that you could try and turn invisible. That's what I want to do. I want to kind of just to see just enough that it's like hanging out. And, you know, the pilot would normally adjust for it. But if he doesn't see it, I could you know, clip his wing or something. That's what I'm going for. Roll a power check. Yep. Give me a second. Mean. Try turning invisible. It almost looks kind of blobbish upon the horizon from where you're standing. Kind of like heat wave -ish. Yeah. Uh, the pilot, like, adjusted the last moment as it's shooting at this caravan. Its shots miss, but it doesn't hit the rock. The caravan kind of swerves to avoid the fire and starts going down this ravine here. So I'm guessing this is going to have to try going this way. So is there another one I can try on over here as it's flying by? Um, roll it with disadvantage since it's happening so fast. Yeah, yeah, not a problem. Understandable. Don't. God, I swear, you're as bad as your brother that I'm even calling you by his name. I cannot, because the microphone picks up the volume. You're just going to have to listen. A 14. Um, I can't do captions on this with this platform. Again, you do manage to stop the, um, the battleship from shooting the caravan, but the caravan does kind of careen off this way, trying to just get away from being shot. And your caravan's over here in this nook. The thing still hasn't noticed you. And, uh... Okay, so... Here's where we are. My ass. Don't turn the volume up. If you turn the volume up, I will do something. Sorry, go ahead. So basically, I saved these guys. They're going off on their own, and this guy is chasing them instead of us. I'm okay with those results. All right. Uh, Brick looks a little bit uh, concerned. He's just like, that's where the patrols were. Well, we could use this to our advantage. Yeah, those guys are straight fucked. Um, I don't know. I tried. Somebody from one of the caravans, uh, this caravan, uh, comes out and runs up to you. He, he's a Ravager. You know him to be a Ravager. Yeah, and uh, he's just like, hey, hey, we gotta go back to them. I wave at him. Have fun. What? What? Aren't you some kind of here? I can pay you. I can pay you. You can't pay me enough. Look, my brother was piloting that coach over there. Well, hopefully you got faith in your brother's piloting skills. He swallows. He's just like, how much you want? How much you want? We can't just leave them. I, I raised my finger for one second. I ducked my head into the carriage and I go, Spark Storm, I'm <laughs> sleeping. But do we do do we save these people and possibly get paid for it or do we go forward? Huh? What? People, danger, possible money. Forward, safe, no danger. I say what? it just like that. What's in it for me? I look up. What's in it for us? 
starts rooting through his stuff as fast as he can. Uh, I got two hundred dollars here and a really cool gun. My cup with water. Two hundred dollars. I scoff at his two hundred dollars. <laughs> like, like, dude, I've got no. I don't need your two hundred dollars. I look at Sparkstorm. Do you want a cool gun? Um, um. Uh, what kind of gun? Pop my head back up. What kind of gun? A Duallium barrel. It's got tracking on it. It'll aim for you. I go, okay, we're going to save him. I say that to Sparkstorm, because I know his answer as soon as the word Duallium pops up. Do, 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 I get, do I get a cool new toy? Well, you get more of that weird metal you want. Mm, I mean, I have a bunch that... I'm just too but tired to mess with right now. This one's in the form of a weapon already. Uh, that'd be good to research. There you go. All right, I I, 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 I take a second and, and I'm like, yeah. kind of doing a nice big stretch. I I, I look. I, I go to sleep for now. We're not in trouble yet. Uh, I'll wake you when we're in trouble. Uh, plop back. And I look at Brick, and I was like, "I guess we gotta go save him." I, I also wait, wait. I he says that, and I I want to call up to Brick and say, like, "Hey, Brick." Yes. Do Do I hear some like a recon flying vehicle above us? Yeah, I tried to crash it. I want it. I guess I gotta try to crash it harder. <laughs> um well. I, I I go hey hey freak while, while you're up there find me a metal disc okay um I look at brick and I'm like go chase the runaway caravan and I start scrounging around for a metal disc uh New is a bit reluctant to leave this goes against protocol, but customers are customers. It starts chasing after them. Uh, the Ravager returns to his caravan at the back and follows. He's got his gun ready, and he's uh, ready to help out as much as one Ravager probably could. Okay, you guys get about over here. Oh, no. Okay, you guys can place yourselves on the map now. The caravan parks here. Brick says, we're going to go on foot. I'm not going to let them see where the caravans are. And we're going to have to make this quick. Less Why do we got to make it quick? Because they're going to call for reinforcements as soon oh. as one person is found. I thought you meant like we had to actually make it quick, quick. Like, not, um... No, not you guys. Brick's telling you guys hurry it up. Okay, gotcha. 55 minus I spent... Okay, well, let me paint the picture for you real quick. I, I know things are happening. I for... feel like I shouldn't be the same size as the caravan. And five. Yeah, I know, that's weird, right? So, nine. Okay, so you do see these guys up ahead. They don't seem like they're immediately targeting this loose caravan. The rogue ship is the only thing chasing it. So these guys are kind of just scattered across uh, this open area of the desert here. Maybe a roving patrol? You don't know. Do we see the caravan we're after or no? Yeah, it's all the way down here. Oh, okay. Aren't you on this caravan? You're not. Yes, yes, I am. Yep. I thought this was our caravan when I first looked at it. It's the one that uh, got veered off course. Okay, so did I find the metal disc for Sparkstorm? Yeah, yeah there's shit laying around in here. Right, so I, like, I Sparkstorm it, it, gets out of the carriage. It's gotta I be drop like, it and I give it to him. It's gotta be like a three foot diameter, at least. Big old dinner plate. Uh. Used to serve up VIP nutrient gel. Works for me. 
whatever. I toss it to Sparkstorm like a frisbee as I jump off the roof of my car. And then, um, are these still five foot grids or are you going to change? They're still five foot. I'm not changing anything. Okay. Okay, so, uh, if you allow me a preemptive action due to the fact that these guys are not paying attention to us, as I throw the sphere to Sparkstorm, I shout, see you there, and then I momentum tack the shit out of this guy. Okay, roll hit and damage. He is going to turn to a bloody mist if I hit him. Okie dokie 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 smokey. So plus four for all speed attacks. Uh, and uh, plus two for skill. So plus six all together. Fifteen plus six equals twenty one. You hit. So he takes 12 times 3 damage, 36 damage. He takes 36 damage? Yes. I'm kind of hoping I turned him into a bloody mess. Uh, I mean, no, not quite. That did do him in. Uh, you hit him, and you see his armor kind of like crater inwards. Uh, but it was some good armor. And he's kind of laying there, mostly intact, but dead. Mostly intact, but dead? Yep. <laughs> Okay, well, sadly, I didn't miss him, but crumpling his armor is good enough for me. Okay, and then I still have one basic action left, because you said momentum attack only counts as one. All right. Hold on, I gotta get rid of my... It was also your that. movement action, so I'm curious. Yeah, I know, I'm not planning on moving. I'm gonna throw my pristine throwing dagger at this guy. All right. Wait and damage. Yep. Plus five... Plus two, so it's plus seven. And I'm also going to use my impale skill. So if I hit him, then he will take damage from it being impaled in his body. Okay. And my pristine throwing dagger is up there. Uh, 16 to hit. It hits. Okay, so he's going to take 1d4 plus 3. Takes 3 damage from a pristine dagger. So this is how I'm picturing my entrance. You can take it or leave it. You're the DM. But like I said, I throw the disc to Sparkstorm. Fucking charge in headlong. Crumple the hell out of this guy's armor with my shoulder. He falls to the ground, coughing up blood and guts and just spewing out his life. And then in a flick of my wrist, my dagger goes flying and hits the other guy in the shoulder and is just stuck there. And he's now, like, bleeding profusely from his shoulder wound. Uh, well, one, these guys don't bleed. Leaking oil profusely from his shoulder wound. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. So on his turn, um, he will take another D4 plus 3 damage due to the impale. Um, and then he can rip it out or not. Sparkstorm, are you doing anything? Uh, so yeah, um, I'm gonna catch the big metal, like, dinner tray. And I'm like, well, I got an idea. Don't know if it's a good one, but I just woke up, so let's do something crazy. Uh, I want to take a running stump, so I want a right, running start. Wow. Um, run and stomp. Yep. I'm going to take a running start. So I want to do like two squares. And I don't know how you're doing about height. Wise. We'll going up um, will be about two squares worth if you want to get all the way up here. One square is worth if you just want to get mid canyon. Um. What's my movement? Uh, not too great. Alright. Here's what I'm thinking. 
Let me know if it's plausible to attempt. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna run. So I, I, I was like in. I like just exited the door. I want to sprint down. I, I don't know how if we tax cab or diagonal counts, whatever. I want to sprint to like here. One of these two, I think, like there. I want to jump up, and like, I want to like toss out the, like a, uh, metal disc or yeah disc. I want to jump on it at the same time, activating, my, electromagnetic flight. So I, power the, I put power into the disc, and I'm actually gonna use it kind of like a. Instead of like flying with it, I want to use it as like a jump pad. So I want to, instead of like, it's like, um, eight dis. No, I, I have a dis, a movement of four while using it. I want to put that all into like as fast as I can. So I want it to launch me up and I land on top of this thing. On top, uh, on top of the flying vehicle. I love it, but you're very inexperienced with this ability, so roll a reflex and a power check simultaneously. Oh. You did kind of just start this one. Uh, yeah, I, I used it last. Oh. Just before we ended the last one yeah. of the, this campaign. I mean, it was... It, 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 in, in all fairness, it was something I really wanted to do. I just didn't get an opportunity to do it till the very end. Yeah, true. True enough. Uh, okay, so D20. Um, you said reflex and a... Hour. Yep. To make sure you get on it and to make sure you're able to control it and maintain flight speed and accuracy on your approach. See, I'm hoping the fact that it's a lot easier to do that since I'm not trying to maintain anything. I'm literally just trying to have it shoot me upward. Like an explosion of power instead of a controlled power. Yeah, and instead of like a controlled lift, I'm literally just trying to give it as much power and have it launch me in the air. All right. Um it won't be a hard check, but do the rolls. Uh wait, you said reflex and power. Yep. That's a three. Oh, cool. They're both threes. Oh god, I'm scared. Ow. Uh, so a 15 and a 6. Okay, as you throw it, you land on it perfectly, and it seems promising as it starts picking up height. You're trying to maintain a charge, but it starts falling despite your uh, electrical input. Now, can we pause for a second? Okay. I, I have a suggestion. I'm going to run it by you. As he's falling, since technically turns are only 6 seconds, can we pause it as he's falling? Because I do have an idea on how I could possibly help him if my turn comes before him. I was going to say, before it comes to that, I'm going to listen. But before that, roll another reflex jump to reflex check to jump at the end of the, the disc's fall to see if you can reach it. Yes. Yeah. I'm confused, but I'm going to roll. And that one. Okay, frequency. And so what I want to do is using, again, my air control, create a pocket of hot air below him. Hot air rises. Help push him up. Okay. All right. Um, You see the disc getting ready to fall, and uh, you see him getting ready to kind of try and leap from it because he notices it's falling, and you really try to do this. Roll a power check. Yep, not a problem. Uh, dum, 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 dum. Oh, air control is plus two, power is four, so plus six. A 13. Barkstorm, just as you feel like you're uh, about to just like start plummeting, you notice uh, the mm -hmm. disc you're hovering on kind of levels out a little bit. You don't feel like it's as hard to maintain your trajectory. And as you regain your footing after trying to uh, leap from it at that last moment, 
you do get close enough to the ship to board it. You are welcome. Uh, I, I'm not really sure what happened there, but uh, I mean, I'll take it. That, that's what literally what I'm thinking to myself. Um, I mean, if that takes my action, I'm gonna board it. Um, yeah, I, I'm just I'm gonna board it, and like I'm, I think that would be my full action, wouldn't it? Say yeah. you guys just turns are up. Um, creative use of abilities, very good shit. Um, bad guys are up. Okay. The gunship is... Well, it was focused on the caravan, but it knows that you just pulverized one of the soldiers, so it shoots at you frequency. Doesn't notice the dude on top of it? <laughs> that kind of happened at the last moment. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Also, what is he going to do? Turn the ship's turrets to shoot at its own head? Maybe. Anyway. I don't know how... I don't know how smart these minions are. <laughs> um, anyways. Let's go ahead and start charging. Oh, Jesus. Thirteen doesn't you... hit. Can I catch a laser? No, you most certainly cannot. You can try though. Uh, no, I'm not gonna try to catch a laser. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that'd be pretty funny. It would. It, that would be a super intimidation. I caught your motherfucking laser, people! <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would just make it burn your hand. <laughs> probably. He'd probably yeah. just make my hand melt. <laughs> exactly what I would do. Okay, these little soldiers all around start shooting. All around. There's only one left, and he's got a dagger in his shoulder. Scroll to the right. Oh! I did not see them. Does an 18? The first two hit, the last one doesn't. All right. I want to try to catch the last one. It's a regular bullet, right? They're lasers. They're shooting actual laser guns. Oh, oh, since when did they get laser guns? They've been shooting they bullets this whole time. The, the, this is the capital. This isn't just cheap. We're not in the capital yet. These are the capital forces. Oh, I'm totally stealing a laser gun. You do that. Luckily, I they... take two damage. Uh, do take DR into consideration if you have any. It. I can't believe they both rolled net ones. On their I net can. Ones. I am awesome. <laughs> Anyways, they're all caught off guard and kind of skim you with their lasers. The big guy in the middle, he sh he, he shoots at you. Okay, hold on. I have to look at this because he's got some weird shit going on. Four miss? Yeah, four definitely misses. Okay, you notice he didn't shoot a bullet at you. He shot shot a grenade. A vitamin. What? I was talking to my boy. He didn't shoot a laser at you. He shot a grenade. Okay. So you're free to try and grab it if you want. Totally. I, I kind of missed the clue there. I thought you were going to try to blow me up. Hold on. I got to give my boy his vitamins. I give him vitamins, yes. Why? Because we don't necessarily have the most healthy of diets in this house. Okay, reflexive catch is 1 MP. I get plus 2, and I get plus 4 because of my speed power, so a total of plus 6. Thank you, Thank you. 18 to catch the grenade. You grab it, and you notice it's getting ready to blow up, like, very soon. I totally chuck it right back at him. What is this, COD? Yes. Oh, okay. Not your turn yet. Well, yeah. Okay, now it's your turn. Okay. I actually, I don't... How big of an explosion are we talking? Are we talking like a 3x3? Three three? Uh, full meta, yeah. It's going to be a 3x3, three 1d8 three, yeah. damage explosion. I want to throw it right here if I can. Do it. 
All right, roll reflex to throw up forward a, extreme. And then roll hit. Well, I mean, a 14, or a 17 for my reflex. Okay, you succeed. So it would be a D8 for both of them then? Yep. Uh, the first guy takes the full eight. The second guy takes four. Like that? Yeah. All right. And then, um, is that going to be one of my actions? Because that was kind of like a reflexive thing. I wasn't planning that, but I can see how you throw it as an action as well. I'll count that as your bonus action. I'll take it. Uh, I want to go one, two, three, four, five. Right here. And I'm doing this for a very specific reason. These motherfuckers are shooting lasers at me. This man is now in the way. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to proceed to stab this man multiple times. Damage. Careful, that chair is broken. Uh, the first one is a 23, the second one is a 11, then a 14, and then a 22. Because that chair's broken, buddy. Great. It's been broken. You got it? Yeah. And then Eugene, I hit with two, possibly three of them? Three of them. You hit with three of them. Okay. Three, six, plus I, they don't bleed, so I'm not going to put my bleeding attack in them. I'm not behind him. So I'm just going to use my basic attack plus, which adds just damage. So plus four. And then plus two for my strength, so plus six damage. Uh, that's ten, plus eleven is twenty-one, plus eight is twenty-nine face damage. And then, of course, my specialty, my high hold. I'm going to go with cold. Uh, that's 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 8 is 21. Now, if he dies, I don't know if he did or not because a lot of attacks and I know you have damage reduction. But if he dies, I want my final two attacks to be both in his kidneys, in his side, kind of. And I'm going to hold him there in front of me like a dead human shield. Okay, first off, what's the damage total? Uh, it was 29 plus 7, 21, so 40, 51. All right, so you plant your knives in his kidneys. Yeah, and I just want to hold him there in front of me like a human shield. All right, all right. And that's your turn. Yeah, that that's my turn. I'm done. Sparkstorm, you are boarded on the ship. Um, I'm trying to it's find... Flying, huh? flying around, roll a reflex check just to keep your footing before any... Um, I'm going to get launched again. <laughs> I tried hard to get you up there. A nine. I can't see either. You slide down and you're hanging off the edge of the wing. They like if you want to do something, you can. Otherwise, you're going to be hanging until your next turn to try to pick it up. Don't, don't you have like electromagnetic powers? Stick your feet to the damn thing. I I really haven't had a chance to try that frequency. Right. I, 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 every mechanical thing that we fought before this. Really, just disappeared right away. True, true enough. Um, I will actually. Ooh. Um. I actually don't have many skills that can help me right now. But I do want to actually attempt something. Like, I, I, I want to try climbing up the wing. But I, I do want to use, uh... I'm first going to attempt it with, like, my hands and trying to use 
my electricity to like possible. magnetize my hands to the Three, two, wing to that, try to pull myself up. That was a successful use of your abilities. Um, I don't know if you want to put magnetization in the character sheet or something, but I will say roll a reflex check, but with your power bonus applied to it. And, uh, get footing. Wait, reflex and power? Yep. Oh, well. 26. <laughs> okay. Around, you find around, that uh, you're able to firmly plant yourself and it's swerving around midair now. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna, like, if, if it's that, I'm gonna say crouch, because I'm trying crouch. something new here. Over there. But, like, I'm gonna, like, scamper my way to, the, like, the cockpit. And check, while main trying to, like, what? see if there's any like access points to get inside before the cockpit. You don't see any access points. But my pilot notices you. You see him frantically tapping buttons on his deck. Okay, well, I'm I'm still gonna scamper to the cockpit. All right. Um, wait, wait, wait. How does he notice me? Uh, it, it's a transparent cockpit. It's like uh almost glass ish. So it's not like the it's not like the cockpit shown here. It's kind of like a bubble over the top cockpit. Yeah. Okay, because I was just saying, I was going to go up behind it and stop so they couldn't see me. But if it's like more like a F-16 fighter where it's more like protruding out a little bit or F-4 type of thing. Um, Come on, let's backpedal a little bit. I like your picture better. It is like this cockpit in the picture. Okay. He well, doesn't notice you. Yeah, I'm going to scamper and go right up behind it and try to like... I'm. Uh, I know this is stretching what I can do in one turn, but I'm going to, like, look at it and try to figure out the quickest way of getting inside the cockpit. And I'm going to wait there and just study this m between turns. Roll a perception check. Uh, skill, right? Yes. A 12. Sure. You don't the highest, the one I get, the roll I get the highest bonus, I fucking knock out of the park. All the other ones are just like, eh, not even above 10. Nothing stands out to you about, uh, you know, the crease and where the cockpit ends and where it begins. You know, it just it all seems to be like a, a flush one piece thing to you as far as you can see and the little bit of time you've had to analyze it. Okay. Okay. Bad guy's turn. Okay. I'm gonna shoot at you again, frequency, since I can't really do anything about Sparkstorm, man. Technically didn't see him yet, he just felt something hit his vehicle. Oh, also. I forgot to do this. Oh, that's that's the tunes right there. <laughs> My bad. 18 spark storm. What? Or hit. I mean, uh, frequency, my bad. Shooting at frequency. The gunship is shooting you frequency. 18? Sorry, I'm muted. Yeah, 18 hits. All right. While you are holding up the guy by his kidneys as a back shield, you feel lasers strike you from behind. Wow. Yep. One more time. Can't block everything. Four times, back and forth. Not too bad, not too great. No, one. Eight. Uh, two, ten damage. Three. Okay. Four. And Go. this guy is oh, dead. Three, eight. Boom. Uh, big dude shoots another grenade. No, it's like yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nineteen hit you. Yes. Your guy, you are using this guy as a body shield. You don't really have time to grab. Yeah, no, I didn't think I would. That's why I said. Give me that one. Okay. It. I don't. It's the body, 
and uh, it doesn't impact you directly. Oh, like Can I just throw the body on top of it reflexively? Mm. So the body oh, absorbs the explosion? No. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, that's what I would do. I would just drop the body on top of the grenade. Mm, no. <laughs> that's I can. It's, it's all radius. Um, it's slippery. <laughs> Six damage from the grenade. And the body is blown up. How is the body blown up? You didn't let me throw the body out there. It should have only taken six damage. The the dead body takes six damage. Fine. You've got a myriad of gifts attached to your daggers still firmly in place. Hey, you know, at least there's a chest as long as there's a chest cavity that I can use. To block my chest cavity, I'm okay with that. It's like each limb is uh has eight hit points of it's like a little less than a door, a little more than a window. These two soldiers go out to the sides. I hope you guys got that reference. <laughs> a little bit like a window, kind of like you're you're seeing through it. I said is that a little more reference. A little more than a window, but not as much of a door. You know the. The comment okay. saying you make a better door than a window. Daddy. Yeah, oh, I got it. That was a Mortal Kombat reference. <laughs> You're a Mortal Kombat reference. Wait, what? There's there's a fatality where somebody uh uh opens somebody's chest cavity and uh takes a selfie through it. Yes. I've never seen that one. Uh, I'm just talking about stuff that my eighty six year old grandma used to say to me like ten years ago. You stand in front of the TV? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the two uh, other soldiers shoot lasers at you and miss. Yes. Completely and absolutely. Your turn. Okay, I drop the body. The chunks. And um, I'm going to take out grenade butthole. One, two, three, four. Six. So I get up in his face. Do keep in mind, clock's ticking. Cool. I'm killing as fast as I can kill here. Just I've already killed two. Want there to be a sense of urgency. Do your thing. Just quickly. You're not Very quick fast. enough. You're not quick enough. Go faster. Okay, a 10, a 21, a 19, and a 21, and a 20 for hit. The first one misses. The other three hit? Yep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll let go now. Before I even yeah. let you do that, you have yeah. to pass a up for two check. You get up and you strike, and you feel like uh, a kinetic. <laughs> what? You kind of cut out for a second. Uh, before your attack actually happens, uh, but he does have an effect that comes to place as soon as anybody tries to attack him physically. Okay. You feel a kinetic pulse in his body. Okay. Um, roll a fortitude check. No. What is my fortitude? But I want you. I want this to be like this. What is your fortitude? Hey, no. Five, okay. Four, three, two, one. Twenty-three. Four. Uh, you you not only manage to stand the ground, you don't take any damage from the kinetic wave. Nice. Also, your attack is normal. Three D six plus four plus. No way. Oh, my melee bonus is three. I've been rolling that wrong. That's plus seven. Uh, okay, so 11, 11, and 10. So 32 base damage. And then 3, e 4, plus 6. 10, 9, 9. So 28. Oh, you're not. He needs to pass a fortitude check to avoid being uh, his movement dies being blood being taken away. <laughs> Ow. That's 32 and 28? Yeah. Minus. Minus. Ow. I took my neck. All right. I need to do my neck. It's a pass forward to check. Okay. What even happened? 
How did that even pull all of a sudden? Check. He does not. Well, yeah, it's the fortitude check. He now has a minus three to movement and dodge. Uh, came at him with a lot. He carved him pretty darn good, but his armor is some strong yeah. shit. I figured that's why I actually remembered to tell you to do the fortitude check. Okay. He wants to pull like that. Um, All right. Sparkstorm. No, no. Yes. You're up. Um, so currently I do not know of how to open this cockpit. Nope, you do not. You're free to continue looking around or try other approaches. Hmm, I don't want to break it. How many people are in the cockpit? Just the one. Hmm. Mm. Kind of looks like one of those uh those um stormtrooper pilots just connected to like a bunch of shit around his head, just strapped up completely to the cockpit. Because like, I don't want to kill him without getting the cockpit open. If I do that, this can go in free fall, and that's not good. I don't want to break it because then if I take it over, then I'm flying without protection. You know, gotta have that. No. Yeah, I'm gonna keep looking for a second. Um, seeing they they all of these I'm assuming have like an emergency open on the outside. That's not a bad assumption, but you're gonna have to roll a perception check to be sure. Yeah, let's see how crappy this one is. My my roll is. Yeah, they have. 17. You you do notice a control panel next to the side of the cockpit. It's kind of got like a seal over it. Stands out to you. I'm opening it. Okay, you open up the, the seal on it. You're kind of standing over it. The wind's rippling around you. And you see a control panel in front of you. I should take some MP for that last move I did. I want to like re uh for the magnetic touch, is it like a cost per turn thing, or should I do I have to re-enable it? For now, since it's a new thing, it's going to be a cost every turn. Just one MP right now. All right. Well, I got a couple turns in. Um, I'm trying to look for something that can piecemeal that this is going to open. You're, oh, okay. Um, you see a bunch of knobs and switches. You've never studied schematics for this, and there don't seem to be any instructions underneath any of the switches or knobs. Uh -huh. I start. Well, I start blasting. I, I start. I start tapping ones, and seeing what they do. You start doing all that, and uh. <laughs> I, I'm being careful because I don't know how this opens. I will point out on the fact like I don't know if it's going to fold up, slide back, or whatever. Like I'm being on alert in case a uh, you know giant metal like cover comes sliding at me. Okay, you flip all the switches. Um, but not at all at once. I, I was going like one at a time, just. <laughs> You clip, flip one of the switches, and you see uh, the belt and uh, everything inside the cockpit kind of disengage. And uh, depending on how long you want to take, uh, something might happen before you have time to actually open it. So how quickly you want to start flipping switches is important. I, I speed it up. I'm like, ooh, ooh, okay, 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 here we go. Okay. Okay, the guy, he notices um, the rig that was in placing him into his seat kind of... Uh, Loosens up and he starts looking around. You start flipping switches a little bit more frantically. Uh, you notice, well, this all happens very quickly. The cockpit, the actual glass, kind of just flies off, kind of like a, it's got an explosive quick release that bursts it off really quickly. And then the pilot gets ejected into the sky with his seat. I kind of like watch him, like, cool. And I try to like quickly flip the switches back. And jump in the cockpit. If I have time, otherwise I can wait till next turn. 
Uh, wait until next turn, but thing is in freefall now. Or at least it's just kind of flying in a direction very quickly without direction. Uh, wasn't it hovering beforehand? Yeah, it was. I wasn't making a move, but... So, so um, it should have somewhat of a hover. I, I could see if it starts slowly drifting, but, like, it's... Unless I completely cut all power. Slowly drifting. I'll give you that. Okay. Um... Bad guy's turn. The guy just got ejected, and uh, he's got his little parachute coming out, and he's falling through the air, and he shoots at you. 19 hit. Assuming it probably does spark storm. You take four damage from a laser gun clipping your shoulder. Spark storm? Out to Wawa. Yeah, sorry. I, I didn't realize he was up immediately. I, I refreshed my drink. Um, Yeah, four damage. All right. Frequency. Big guy is right up close to you now, so instead of trying to hit you with a grenade, he kind of just takes um. Well, his shooting arm kind of just like uh seems to envelop in like a kinetic field, and he tries to bring it down on you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Assuming a six misses? Yes, six misses. Roll a fortitude check. He brings it down and it whiffs past you and hits the ground and sends out a shockwave. 22. And you resist the shockwave from his arm hammer. Wow. Okay, and these two guys kind of, you know, careen out, kind of spread out. And they shoot at you. Now this is why I have to take all these naps. Everybody keeps shooting at me. <laughs> the 19 hits. The other one does not. Six damage. You guys are back up. I am going to take this cautiously. Because I, I, I can tell this guy's pretty fucked up, right? Uh, Yeah. So I'm going to use one basic attack to make stick action to attack him. And then if he's still alive afterwards, I will use another one. All right. Roll hits and damage. A 25 and a 15. They both hit. I am not powering my blade this time. This is just going to be straight damage. Okay. Roll bonus already. Three plus four. Seven. Uh, so it's a total of 21 damage physical. That's between two rolls? Well, two attacks. It's one basic attack, basic action, but I stab twice. Okay. As you stab him, you think to yourself maybe you were being a bit too conservative. Because though you're continue dicing him up, he's still standing. I don't want to waste another attack on him, but I guess I got no part point. All right, stab him again. All right, hit some damage. A fuck me, nine and a fourteen. The fourteen hits. Fuck you. Eleven damage. Still standing. Seriously? He's got some good DR. Seriously? There are some enemies you really shouldn't hold, hold your punches with. I already messed him up. Well, he's pretty fucked up. I'll give you that. But he's still alive. Bastard. Okay. Uh, who hasn't gone yet? Oh, Sparkstorm hasn't gone yet. Sparkstorm, you're up. I'm going to jump into the cockpit. All right. You do so. Um, I'm going to give myself a quick 
you know, five second crash course on uh, how to fly this thing. All right. Uh, operate machinery is a skill, right? A mech. Uh, I think that'd fall into mech operator. I'll allow you to use that to buff your uh, role on trying to figure out how this thing operates. Um, can I use my engineering bonus? Engineering is for building, not operating. Uh, what kind of modifier do I have for mech operator then? Mm -hmm. Oh, wrong page. You have what? Look, it says one. You got points into the yellow subsuit, but you only got one in mech operator. Oh, I think that's before we. Act like I used substitute before you actually had a split into like just one pool and we just upgrade from there. Oh, okay. Well, for one it's one. For now it's one, I mean. Any other modifiers or no? For now, no. Oh. It's going to suck. 11. Uh it shoots off a laser, kind of starts veering off away. Um, lights flip up all over it. And uh, kind of wind up over here on this side of the canyon as you're trying to control it. And you you know what does what now, but you used up your whole turn figuring it up, and now it's on this side of the canyon. Oh, so that kind of for both actions and everything? Yeah. Okay. You know how to operate it now. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, bad guys are up. This guy touches the ground and tries to take a shot at you, Frequency, since he no longer sees sparks. I activate Reflex Surge. All right. All these guys take shots at you. A 22? Yes. A sixteen? No. A twenty two? Yes. A fifteen. No. How many people are shooting at me? Four. Including well, the guy in front of me? He's gonna try and do something else. Then so why are how are four people shooting at me? Oh, only three people are shooting at you. It, wouldn't the one that I ejected be shooting at me yet? He can't. Yeah. You're on the other side of the canyon. He can't see you anymore. That's like 20 feet by grid squares. He can still shoot a laser at you. No, oh, like here to here. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet. Okay. He's shooting at Spark, uh, Sparkstrom then. Thank you. I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna say that third roll is probably gonna hit Sparkstorm anyways. Uh, I, I, I'm not not to change what you're saying, but I'm just assuming that the person who he, who I ejected from his vehicle would want to shoot me down. Yeah, he would. Okay, so I take four. Uh, no, that this one's for Sparkstorm since he especially wanted to get hit by it. All that to me. Yep. That the seven is you. You take seven damage. And the one that hits you, frequency. Since when do they roll two? They roll two D six. Oh. Oh okay. wait. Wait, wait, wait. They've been rolling one this whole time. Did you actually clean yourself, Kyle? Oh, that's my bad. No. One of those is for um Park Star ones that of oh, those is for you, frequency. Which one is which? Okay, Sparkstorm, you take four damage. Frequency, you take five. Okay. What? Yeah, I may or may not have an answer for you. Yeah, you got a bruise. Uh, I can't help you with that, dude. Yeah. Your muscle? Okay. My bone. It's probably not your bone. Well, it's hurting it. If it was your bone, you wouldn't be able to walk, dude. Sorry. 
frequency that debuff you gave this guy was it to his MP or dodge. his dot hit and dodge? Okay. Movement and dodge, not hit and dodge. All right. He he tries the same thing he did before. At least I don't think it hit. Is it hit? He swings his arm down and it whiffs again. Roll a fortitude check. <laughs> yep, it's moving like that. Uh, fortitude. 19. You stand your ground again. Your guys' turn. Okay, now this guy is pretty wrecked, right? Yep, pretty wrecked. Pretty wrecked. Okay, I'm going to attack him once and I'm going to hope he dies. One more fortitude check. His ability activates this again. Yeah. No, you, you. This is the one that activates when he gets hit. Twenty-two. You stand your ground again. Go about your attack. Yeah, I got three. Oh, a natural twenty and a natural one. Wow, ain't that a roll? One of them hits. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> Uh, 78 damage. Uh, yeah. You, you, he's dead. That's not the real roll. <laughs> 12 damage. I mean, you roll the exact same thing. Yeah, you, essentially. Since, since, not... since it was your plus modifier, you could have just did the 5 plus 7. You're right. I could have. Either way, it ends up being the same. 12 damage. <laughs> you, you yeah, you rolled the same. How do you work this? You don't put it down. I told you, you don't put it down. Is he dead or alive? He falls to the ground with a loud thud. Thank you, baby Jesus. Okay, so I am going to momentum attack this guy. Four. All right. Seventeen to hit. It hits. He takes 12 damage. Dude, over here. All right. And Spark Storm. So I You're can up. confident. I, I can fly this thing and I don't have to worry. You, you know the controls now. Okay. So I want to do like two strafes. Or at least. I want, I want to go. Um. Let's do a nice pink. So I'm here. I want to strafe this way and take out this guy. And then, if I have enough movement, I want to loop back around and go like this and shoot at both those guys. Okay. If you'll recall, these machines do have limitations. They can't do all the cool things you guys do. They do have set actions. You can fly by and shoot them with a 2d6 laser attack. But with your hit this one's a lot harder to grab on. Okay. On. Am I limited by how many I can do in a turn? Yes. It can only do one per turn. Unless you're hovering in place, laying down a volley. Um, okay. I have how don't shoot me. <laughs> um So I couldn't attack this guy and then attack that guy, uh, that guy. If I'm st nope. if I stay still, okay. Maybe if you became an ace pilot with these things, eventually you could do stuff like that. <laughs> cool. All right, I'm gonna go with my first. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this uh, bottom route. You know, flying through, shoot as I, as I go. Okay. Roll hit bonus. Um, just skill. Okay, so a d20 and a plus 4. A 19. 2d6 plus 2. Yep, 2d6 plus 2 damage. Per hit? Yep. So 2d6 plus 4, technically? Yes. Okay. 13 damage. Alright. You uh, you strike him, and you know this is now cells. You see, you know he's still kind of standing, but he's got like laser damage on his uh suit. 
Alright, uh, can you move the vehicle over by me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, that guy's turn. I shout as he's flying by. It's about time you join combat. Oh, wait. Before the bad guys move, uh, I'm just going to have somebody come out and try to help because you guys are taking along and Brick's a little concerned. I don't... Hey, if you look at the speed of turns, I have literally killed three people in less than a minute. Uh, he I mean, makes that's point. pretty speedy, if you ask me. Doing bad. You guys aren't doing too bad. Hold on, I'm trying to find them. Bing, ba, boom, there you go. Okay. He makes his way over. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Fucking doesn't attack. Yeah, you, guys don't, bad, bad. you guys don't really see what he's doing. I'll make the rolls. But bad guys are up. So completely meta, Cork. Do you think he's gonna let you keep the jet? No. <laughs> oh. Oh, I just realized a critical mistake. What's that? I put my full HP on here. Why is that bad? You didn't you tell didn't me I had a long we were on the road. You didn't tell me I had a long rest. Yeah. I'm like down to I, I'd have to go back to the warehouse, but I'm down to like ten HP. Well But you got recovered during the rest here, right? Yeah, you, he didn't you necessarily never, say how long we were in You the never car. told me how much of a rest I got. I'll give you the full rest. Okay. Good, because I need one now. Well, anyways, um, bad guys all start shooting. Bad guy, guns! He's like, he's like, even in the half rest, I would only recover 50%. I didn't think we were going long enough for a full rest, but I'll take it. Slow caravan ride up until you I guys don't shake on my chair like that. You uh, know how this goes like this. That means it'll eventually break, so stop doing that. I thought it was like when you break. Mm -hmm. The one shooting at you that you're fighting right now, frequency, is the only one that lands a hit. Of course. Take three damage. Of course, the one shooting frequency is the one that actually hits. <laughs> Uh, okay, you guys are up. I would have killed him. Uh, I'm gonna stab the one who shot me, obviously. Hitting damage. Look at this. Uh, 15, 25, 24, 16. Uh, I'll succeed. I mean, wait, wait, wait. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, they all, all succeed. The what? Hey. I'm pretty sure that guy's paced. Wait, is that 7 total or 7 each? 7 each. So, what, 8, 20 plus what are you doing? 28 to 48? Yeah. He's dead. Yeah, he's, he's paced. I'm like super pissed off and frustrated now, so I'm just I'm not even like channeling my elements. I'm just going in and rapid stabbing this guy in his face until he stops bullshitting. You do that in your fury. You rip him to shreds. Right. So I noticed this guy just collapsed. Correct. Yep. Do I see him? All right, I'm going to delete this strafe line. Do I notice that I see someone fighting this guy that just landed? I'll I'll say you see him get hit by something. All right. I'm going to just 
both actions heavy fire on this guy. Like, I want to erase him from the planet. All right. Uh, roll hit twice with skill bonus. A 19 and a 14. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I will say roll 46 plus 2, so plus 2 per hit. So 46 plus 8, that's 27 damage total. You put him down. Cool. And at the end of that, uh, Brick finishes off this guy over here, kind of just charges up his punch and Kind of just like impales him with his fist right through his chest. And uh everyone's dead. So I, I bend down, I take the laser rifle off this guy's body or the laser pistol or whatever he has. I take it. And then I walk towards Brick. Brick sees you walk and he's kind of like motioning you to hurry up, like he's waving his hand. As he's doing that, I point at him, and I point at the body of the big guy who had the weird mallet, and then I continue to walk towards the caravan. Are you trying to tell him to pick something up? Yeah, the body of the guy who had the big weapon. The other two I care less about. Right. I want the big guy's body, but I'm too tired to loot him. So now that I've got my weird laser rifle, I walk back towards here. He kind of hops and runs over and grabs the... Uh... Kind of tears the arm off the big guy since the weapon's attached to it. And kind of like starts poking it all the way over to the caravan. Oh, you wanted the whole body, not just the weapon. <laughs> he, uh, he's, he starts huffing and puffing and chugging as he tries to lug the whole body back. Perfect. You already has got some weird kinetic devices that I'm sure Sparkstorm would love to study. Okay. You guys are all back. Uh, Sparkstorm, you're in a hover ship. Do you try to get off? I want to no. land right here. And all I right. want to do two things. No. One, I want to like try to locate where the cover went and the chair, preferably. Okay. Because I we'll did eject Ocito because it... So, like, I, I would prefer to put the seat back in the vehicle. Okay. Uh, you start taking your time looking for this stuff. You see it ejected somewhere over here, but you also hear uh, thrusters off in the distance closing in on your position and Brick telling you to hurry up. Uh. Um, did I notice what people were shooting or like attacking sport or frequency with? Razor guns. Can, all right, so I I want to jump out, try to see where that stuff is, and I see it. Realize it's too far away. Can I loot a couple bodies? Like I, I'm, I'm like ten, fifteen feet from them. Can I run, loot, grab some weapons, and jump back in? Okay, roll a d20 and then things are going to happen. Roll treasure find. One or two? Just one. My treasure find is plus two, right? Yeah. Uh, a 21. Nice. What are you looking for exactly? Um, well, I want to grab at least one of the weapons that we were okay. shooting, uh, or, like, attacking frequency with. I don't want to grab, like, any valuables that are quick, any, like, computer devices, like, stuff I can study. Okay. And you know, date. there's a gun strapped to the one you're looting, and he does seem to have, like, a control panel, kind of like a pit boyish thing on his arm, but you really only have time to grab one because... You do notice some skittering coming from the canyon that all the soldiers were looking at before you guys came in here. Spider. You see, you start scurrying up. 
And you do hear hovering in the distance. I'm a fireman. I'm clear to see there is a gunshot approaching. So. All right. Um. Well, okay. So the vehicle is by me. I'm going to attempt to grab the Pip Boy equivalent armband. If there's any resistance, I'm going to cut off the arm and take it by force. And then I'm going to jump back in the hovercraft and fly off. Okay. It seems firmly attached. All right. Slicing it off. All right. You do so. I want to get in the hover, uh, the hovercraft. Just oh, think about it. Oh, Julian. Oh, one hundred percent. What do you do? All right, you get in the hovercraft, and you're trying to fly back to the caravan. I'll tell you about that stuff. No. No. All your toys are supposed to be put away anyway. Put them all away. Um. Since I okay, okay. From my perspective, in his room, we're. The uh, caravan's to be protected. So if I fly towards it, it's going to lure people there. So I want to take a... a roundabout... lap. So I'll, like... Um, do I lift off the ground? Yeah. Oh, before the spiders come. Alright. Uh, I want to, like, fly over here. Like, I want to... I mean, not the way of, not really a way of conveying this, but like, I want to be like, all right, yeah, I just landed, I'm taking off, and I'm headed this direction. Like, I was told to head over here or something. So I'm going to fly over here, and I know I don't really know what over here, but I, I want to like fly like here and here until, because I, you said I, I noticed the uh, ballast station, right? Or the ballast yeah. ship. What's your route exactly? said here and then where i'm going to fly southwest of where i'm at so the caravan is northwest i'm yep. going to fly southwest to west and i want to swing back and hopefully meet them farther north than they currently are okay this is still a risky idea but it's okay, roll not as risky as flying directly to them roll mech operator as you're flying it to pilot it through all these nooks and crannies precisely. Can I fly over them? Yeah. Well, yeah. But you're going to be more visible. But I, I'm in the vehicle that it should recognize. I'm going to... I'm No, I'm, I'm flying over the top. Okay. Because... um, From my perspective, this is the same... I, I, or I don't know that they flew over a head. But I'm assuming that this is a vehicle that is would be recognized by like another vehicle, and so they'd be like, "Oh, okay, that person's patrolling that area." So I'm gonna fly up and over the canyon, and not go through the canyon yet. Okay, as you start lifting up and flying your route, and let's say you get probably like down here, you do see these things. Now that you're above everything, you can see all around you. Yeah, and and you, hear okay. you hear something over the speaker. He just says, uh, Unit, uh, Unit 06 detecting unusual flight patterns. Verify pilot identity number. Um... I want to try uh, to interpret the same tone that they have. Uh, uh, it's like drawling and relaxed. DM, if you will allow this, I will make a suggestion just simply because um, Sparkstorm and Fork himself do tend to forget that they have this power. You have the power of authority. Why not try using it? It's a good point. I do with that. It'd be the perfect time to use that. Sparkstorm literally has no idea how to use any powers of 
Yeah, but so you this... have been experimenting with it in this realm. So you're going to use it to tell him what to do. Um, have? Yeah, a couple episodes back, you used it. Okay. I. Yeah, we had this whole whole thing where Sparkstorm kept asking Frequency how to use it, and Frequency was almost useless on teaching him how to use it. And then Sparkstorm kind of like tried to use it. So oh, oh. Being meta about it, like maybe try to use it again. Oh, okay. I forgot we did that part because I thought I was still under the impression that Sparkstorm was like oblivious to like how, like, necessarily having it. Okay. I'm going to say it in the same tone or whatever, but like, I, I'm, uh, I'm going to say using my power authority. I'd be like, Oh yeah, um, you said I was number oh six or whatever. Uh, ship oh six, yes. Yeah. Um, be like, uh, copy that. This is ship oh six. Uh, I was flagged down for some uh weird disturbances. It turned out to be just a bunch of canyon spiders. Um, flying right back up and gonna proceed to my route. I'm sorry for all the inconvenience, but uh, I got it from here. And this is the, the Star Force of Authority, so are you going to follow up with an order, or are you just going to try and convince them? Do I get a bonus if I follow up with an order, or do I get a more of a secured win if I just... I'll say them? it works better if you're telling people what to do. Oh. Um, yeah, I got I got this sector. Please uh, move on out. I saw some disturbances to the west, and the ground informants told me some disturbances to the east. I feel like you should go investigate that. We don't want any of these, uh, you know, unholy caravans coming through here now, do we? Uh, he says, copy that. Uh, oh six. Uh, we'll check east though. Previous orders did say the bugs were coming from the west. I will proceed to follow that direction and patrol the west after checking the east as you dictate, sir. Yeah, if if if, if I'm not mistaken, we have three bogies up top, or you know, three friendlies up top. I say two go, oh. two of you can go east, one go west, and report back to me on what you see. Roger that, sir. Over and out. Nice touch with the unholy caravan. <laughs> it just flowed. And uh, they start kind of like going in their directions, and uh, you just fix it by telling everybody what to do. Okay. Cool. I was really worried there because I was not prepared to assault you guys with a hundred ships. I I honestly, I I. That must have been like the last episode that like I have, like I was listening, like editing to like listen for like, up interruptions, but like I wasn't listening fully because I was doing work to like. Remember what we talked about, um, yeah. Thanks for that. I I completely forgot that uh we had that conversation on how to use the Star Force. Now that you I say it, I remember. I think you like completely forget we even have the Star Force power. Which I understand because it True. was really wonky when we got it. And like y your perspective is completely different because you know of the Spar Star Force, but like Sparkstorm, like he hasn't really experienced much of Star Force besides you doing occasional things. And so, yeah. True. Very true. Um, okay, so that when they start leaving, I actually want to land. Like on top of this thing. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can communicate with frequency. Actually, no. I want to land down in this clearing in the cannon, so I can talk to frequency. But I also want to investigate the ship. Now that okay. ev everyone's gone, so I'm coming over like here. All right. A uh, frequency potentially cliffhanger at here tonight because I got two children in my house that I need to put down, and I'm also pretty tired myself. 
uh, I, I kind of just want to follow this up real quick because that was kind of insane. Yeah, uh, that, that's fine. Yeah. Barkstorm touches down. You want to say anything to him? I, I say, nice ship. Oh, thank you. you. I fly uh, Overwatch for us. Um, yeah, I, I, I get out and I do a little stretch. I'm like, oh, yeah. I had a quite a bit of rest beforehand. Um, I, I feel. I don't know if it was the extended hours awake or whatever, but like I felt like I recuperated just like that. Like I I was out hard. I don't even know what happened until all of a sudden you're like, hey, these people want to be save these other people, whatever. But like, um, yeah, I, I need to study the ship once for a little brief amount. I kind of smile and I go, well, it helps. I'm the one constantly getting shot at while you fuck around with the machinery. Give it time. Yes. I just kind of sigh and I go, okay, well, while you're flying Overwatch, I'm taking a nap. And then I point at the the guy who told us to go save his brother. And I was like, he owes you a duallium gun. Uh, as you're telling him, you do notice that the two brothers are kind of like hugging each other. <laughs> These two ravagers. And uh, I, I, like, I, I walk up to them. Uh, uh, sh- sure, boss, sure. So, so, look, so, so I hear you have something for me. Yeah, 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 I do. Uh, he starts patting his pockets frantically. He hands you a gun with, like, kind of a weird-looking barrel. Deed, let's go. What, what, we don't have much time. What, what's it got? It's a dualium barrel. Special tracking modification. It looks at the target and shifts position. To make up for any uh, errors on part of the operator. Full meta, it just has a plus one to hit. Uh, is it uh, ownership to me now? Or okay. is it not that kind of duallium? Oh, well, if I'm giving it to you. And you see him kind of like uh, do some uh, scratch work. He kind of moves his finger along the barrel. Kind of like put in some numbers and stuff. You know, like coding. He's like coding the barrel. Yeah. There, it recognizes you as its owner now. Before we're done, can you give me a little extra teaching on that when we get to the capital? Before you run away? Oh, you want me to show you a little bit about uh, Duallium on the way uh, to the capital? Yeah, see, I'll be flying overhead, you know, making sure the skies are clear and checking up on you guys from every so often. Whenever we camp for the night, um, I'll, you know, I'll be doing my usual loops and stuff, but like, yeah, uh, I'm going to come up to you and should really learn how to do that. Yeah. Sure thing, boss. Sure thing. And I'll I keep the skies clear for you. Uh, like, yeah, I'll keep the skies clear for you then. And, uh, yeah, and Brick's just like, how the fuck did you do that? He says, you're done talking to him. Me? You made all those guys fly away. My sonar was picking up nothing. Um. Yes. Good answer. <laughs> he kind of raises his eyebrow. Guess I gotta take it. You guys are something else. I would. I would tell you if I knew how. As as I'm climbing in the cab of my VIP cabin, I uh I point at Brick and I tell Sparkstorm, I had him take a body you should look at when we get to the capital. Noted. Um can you throw him under the caravan or something? I don't care if it gets dirty, I'll be able to figure it out, but like I don't want to take up too much space. Well, Chuck, you're flying. He, he can sleep in your area. I'll sleep in my area. No, no, no. I don't mind next to a dead body. Chuck's the body in the cargo hold of the caravan. As you guys were discussing, you notice the spiders. There's more of them now. And they're kind of eating up the bodies. We should probably go. Hey, Brick, what, what's the word of those spiders? I've literally never seen anything like that. Hmm. If I had more time, I'd analyze one. But 
Yeah, we should get going. Uh, frequency to you, they do kind of resemble the larger ones you saw outside the gates when you uh, went southwards, but they're much smaller. Okay. So small scorpion-like robot. Yeah, that's the the biggest resemblance to anything you've ever seen. That's the only connection you have to what they might be. Gotcha, gotcha. But anyways, the caravan will pick up next time on Powerless. Frequency jumps in, takes a nap. Sparkstorm takes to the skies with his new aircraft. Yeah. Definitely need a nap. Both Frequency and Manbear need a nap. Nap is needed. Okay, well. Yeah, you guys uh saved a part of the caravan. Uh, bought some uh, Imperial soldiers, found out what kind of metal they're made of, or uh, you know, tested their metal, that's the saying. And uh, a little bit stronger than the Ravagers you're used to. There was only five of them, that was quite the fight. Yeah, that took it out of me. Um, Sorry about that. Yeah, and... I, I saw an opportunity and I, I took it. I can't really blame you, but frequency blames you a little. This is now the second massive fight where you fought like two people while I fought like eight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if you're talking about the last one, I took out like five people. Okay, well, I took out like 12. That's fine. But I, uh, I, I uh, Achilles, the guy who was supposed to be the boss. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> all, see, like, you may not have fought that many people in either of those matches, but you've always managed to take out like the the biggest pain in the ass in each session. Except for last time. Sparkstorm really did take out the the big boss of the, the last place we raided. Yeah, and then you took out the gunship on this, which would have been a pain in the ass to take out if you were actually <laughs> fighting from the ground. He only took it out because I helped him. That, that is true. <laughs> that is true. There was a group after. I mean, I... I would have, I would have blown it up from the skies, but that would have brought more attention to us. So, I'm glad, I'm glad I went with the route I did. Um, but anyways, yeah, duh, join us next week. I th believe Thursday, because I am leaving town Friday. That was the plan, yes. So, um, join us next week for Thursday. We will be continuing on. Hope we get the capital or whatever Donnie Danger has in store for us. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, any la final words, DM? Uh, find us next time on Powerless next week, Thursday. To find out where the caravan goes and how they get to the capital. All right, this is Borg Seventeen signing off. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, later. <laughs>